Welcome, everyone. Truly another gift from God. I recently watched all of my YouTube videos back, and something that is more apparent than ever is being authentic and being yourself is a never-ending a never-ending journey, a never-ending odyssey towards your future self. It is perpetual. It is forever building. It is never ending. And I'm realizing, I'm watching these videos back and I can tell, especially recently, and the, the crazy thing is, is, it's only been one month, one month, maybe a month and a half ago. And I can tell how much my mind has matured and elevated and how it has reached such a higher echelon and level of existence to what it once was before. And I think the reason that I contribute this fast growth, but meaningful and impactful growth in all realms of existence, including my body, mind, my wealth, and my soul, and my spirit, and my wisdom, I honestly think the reason I've excelled so fast is because I've directed everything towards God. I'm now more of a godly man than, I've, than I ever have been before. I'm here in Thailand about to network and connect with people that I used to look up to six months ago and watch on YouTube and, and I was thinking to myself, it's, oh, it's going to take me years and years to, to get to where they are at, to get to their level of, their operating level of wealth, of masculinity, of power, of prowess. But it's insane to think that now I have their contacts on my phone and I'm about to meet up with them in person and really take myself to a completely different level to what I once was before, even now. And like I said about the fact of watching my videos back, I've realized that I've let some external influences influence me in a way where at the time I thought it was okay and I thought it was being myself, but looking back, that was not the case at all. Now I'm truly starting to realize and hone and really develop my equanimity and my, my sight of my life and where I want to take it. It's now more apparent than ever on the direction I want my life to go and how I have to honor God in every aspect of it. Because in the end, He will make my paths straight. And like I said, the reason I'm able to see so clearly now is because I'm honoring God in everything I do. I'm reading His Word, I'm praying, and I'm becoming more spiritual than I ever have been before. And not only that, I'm also seeking wisdom, everlasting, perpetual wisdom in all aspects of man, in all aspects of existence. And I think I'm starting to create and construct the direction and azimuth I want to direct the course of my life. And currently, as I have learned recently, this past week has been life-changing, it's been life-altering. The people I've had to talk to and the scenarios that I've had to de-escalate and strategically navigate around, it's been extreme, intense. But now that I've navigated those and now that my path is clear, I had a thought that I was just about to make. It was an extremely good point. Hopefully I will circumnavigate back to that later. But life is extraordinary. It is astonishing. But it's not astonishing in a way where it's surprising. It's calculated. Every move I made, I made with action, with intent, with God on my side. And there's maybe some ounce of luck. I will say, maybe some ounce of luck. But most, but it mostly consisted of calculated risks and strategic navigation. Because I've made this reference on how I was doing everything, you could say I was doing everything correctly maybe a couple months ago. But if you know anything about aviation and piloting and flying a plane, there is this thing and quality, not quality, just thing called azimuth. And it's the degree you fly your plane at. So when you're flying your plane at 270 degrees in the compass, oh, that'll be an example. So I've made this realization 
where I was flying my plane of life just a couple degrees off of my true intention, my true goal. And all I was missing was knowledge and mentors and coaches and brothers that would redirect and realign my pre-intended course of reconciliation and direction and purpose. And I just needed that push and I got it. And now my path and my intention and my purpose in life, my ikigaki is clearer than ever. This has been truly a moment of absolute and utter intelligence. And I, I think um, circumnavigating, I said, um, I thought I stopped that, but I catch myself every time I say it now. Navigating back to the point that I forgot to talk about, it was absolutely honing every realm of communication known to man, achieving the next and the ethereal and surreal echelon of communication that I never thought imaginable, but now I'm slowly on a path to achieving it. And I think God is trying to tell me that truly navigating back to the point I was making earlier is sometimes the path you are on, I've read this verse recently. I keep on hopping over. I keep on hopping over different points, but I'm doing this for a purpose. I'm going to collaborate and collectively compile everything together in a couple minutes. So bear with me. God has a way of pushing you off the path you're you think you're intended to be on, but it's not as coherent and oblivious as you think. There's a lot more depth to it. There's this verse I read. It might have been Proverbs 16, 9. I might be wrong about that, but it's the heart of man paves his path, but God establishes his steps. So what I was doing is I was walking my own path, thinking God created this path for me. And while that is true to an extent, it's not 100% truly and utterly accurate. It's not precise. So I was walking this path of ghosts and fallacy, not knowing where to go, not having any guidance, thinking I knew it all, becoming less and less authentic as I've watched some of my previous videos, becoming less and less authentic, taking more influence and more factors from other people that I've looked up to much more than I would have, much more than I would have liked to. But now what's more apparent than ever that I'm seeing, my, I'm seeing who I truly am now. I'm developing who I want to be and taking snippets that I like from certain people and implementing it into my own life to create the person and construct the person that I want to become. But God has a way of completely flipping your life upside down. And while at the time you may think this is absolutely and utterly horrendous and horrific and heinous and cruel, this is for your betterment. This is for the betterment of yourself. This is for the longevity, longevity, and in the end, this is your destiny. And while at times that flip, that complete and utter, I don't know where I'm going with that, but their path flips. And like I said at the time, you may, think it, you may think it's cruel, you may think it's horrible, but this is shaping the man that God wants you to become. This is shaping the man that you've always meant to become. Now, at the time, you may think, what the hell is going on? I'm lost. I'm confused. I... And, and once I read that verse, that the man, the heart of man, is, or the heart of man creates his path, but God establishes his steps. Now, I'm walking the path that I would like to be on, but every day I'm praying to God daily about him giving me signs and establishing my steps. And it's just been sign after sign after sign of him repeatedly and effectively and concisely establishing my steps. And now I know more than ever, well, like I said, God has a way of completely flipping your life upside down, so it could come. And all I can do now is prepare and be ready. Fortune favors the preparing mind, just like my friend Tristan Tate said. Not my friend, I don't know him. Just like my role model Tristan Tate said. But I've noticed that God has repeatedly established my steps, establish the steps of the walk of life that I am constructing and creating. I know I said I'd navigate and compile all these facts and stories into one plot, into one point, but I 
think I forgot the third or fourth point I made before. Hopefully we'll never get back to it again, huh? <laughs> the level of maturity that I'm gaining and in the process of honing and developing is undying. It's unparalleled. I'm reaching a point of, I remember the fourth point. God, I feel like has given me a gift of communication. But the thing is, the insane discovery, the insane realization, the insane moment of entelechy that I've had is, this is just building. This is the foundation of a skyscraper. I am just at the foundation. I am just at the base level of developing my skills of communication. I've already seen so much growth and prosperity in developing my communication. I've been learning new words, reading books, asking God for guidance and knowledge and how to truly seek and discover and interpret and cultivate my wisdom and apply it to my life in certain areas and of course honor to God every step of the way. It's insane to think I'm just at the roots, I'm just at the foundation. And in time, this foundation is going to build and construct a skyscraper that reaches the absolute echelons of, of existence. It reaches the stars. And the thing is, this foundation is undying. It's unwavering, unparalleled. And this skyscraper will keep on being built. It will keep on being constructed with very little regard to whatever stands in its way. Whatever adversaries are blocking it from being built, it will prevail no matter the cost. What an amazing couple of months this has been. I thank the Lord every day for putting me in the position, for giving Him. I thank the Lord for giving me the mind that I have, for giving me the ability and the option to take my life and fill it with autonomy and to honor God every step of the way. I cannot wait to see how I truly establish my presence and my prowess in all aspects of communication into the real world, into the world outside. This has been a very cordial talk and I might start having, now that I've, now that I've lifted up the cloak of deception and the cloak of lies that I once was living, a fallacy, if you will. Now, now that I can see, now that I can act clearer and precise, clearer and more precise than ever, now I'm ready. Now I'm steadfast, ready and willing to do whatever it takes. Existing with utmost bravery, with courage, with perspicacity, and undying resolve, I will be ready to prevail and to try my absolute hardest to win at whatever adversaries God throws my way. Because in the end, the adversaries that God does throw my way, I know, and I always will know, it directly correlates to your growth in every measurable metric. The process of fighting, the process of winning against those adversaries. And really building and redefining who you are as a man. Thank you so much for watching. I cannot wait to film. I cannot wait to see. I cannot wait to see what awaits me in Bangkok in Thailand. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.